It's time for Washington Fish Quest. This one's target species, Cabazon. Hey Washington Fish Questers, Blake here. I'm out on uh, Colorado Lake in uh, on Alaska. It's uh, the opening day of uh, lowland lake season. I just wanted to, sh to show you this area because I, I always come here for opening day and I'm probably not going to get to do a fish quest on it because I want to save my rainbow trout fish quest for really pristine, nice big trout instead of stalker trout. I didn't have much plan for this fish quest, but Vanessa, Casey, Amanda, Russell, and I all went to Westport to spend a fun weekend and visit our good friends at the Westport Aquarium. Uh, and Casey and I were out uh, jetty fishing and I brought the camera. We were just uh, pitching purple jigs for whatever wanted to bite. Uh, I caught a, uh, a good sized rockfish, nothing to write home about though, and uh, Casey caught an, an undersized ling. And then, uh, much to our surprise, as you can see by my fine camera work here, Casey uh, hooked into a cabazon. Casey caught this cabazon on that purple jig on the harbor side of the jetty. I've had my best luck catching them on the ocean side. I never target them specifically. They usually, I, I catch them when I'm trying to get a ling or rockfish or even a kelp greenling. Here's a picture of one I caught and released last year. I caught this one on a sand shrimp. As you can see here in its gullet, uh, there is a pretty good size for the size of the cabazon, Dungeness crab. There, the inside of the cabazon and its kind of jaw area is blue. Uh, crab and uh, shrimp both contain a lot of iodine and that kind of leaches into them. Well, there I was, just about to catch the biggest fish you've ever seen when disaster struck on the jetty. Not only do us rock hoppers like to fish the South Haven jetty, but there's been a growing number of a uh, small boat fleet that uh, fish the edge of the jetty where uh, we typically can't get out to. Unfortunately, for one boat of three or four guys, their main and kicker engines failed on them, causing them to be swept into the jetty. Luckily, they uh, escaped onto the jetty to safety. The Coast Guard was outstanding. They sent out uh, one of their vessels and, and hauled back the smaller boat and it didn't capsize or anything. Uh, and although all the guys made it to safety, one of them, I'm not sure if he broke a bone or was in shock or what, but he had to be helicoptered out. Uh, there was a couple members of the Coast Guard that came out to the jetty to do crowd control and they were completely professional, uh, really, really nice guys. They airlifted the guy out of there incredibly efficiently and safely. It was really neat to see uh, firsthand. On the way off the jetty, an angler asked him how often they do this, and I guess this is only the second time in four years, so that's pretty good. If you uh, take your small boat out there, uh, just be safe and not only have a plan B, but a plan C and a D as well. Well, thanks so much, and see you on next month's Washington Fish Quest.